Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap website build with the brackets text editor. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. In our last video we changed the style and color of this nav bar up here and put in our logo. Now we moved our links over to the right hand side and our active link there looks fine but our just regular links they're kind of hard to see. So let's go ahead and change that first. So let's just click on one of them. And there we go, that's the color we got at the moment. It's very hard to see. I'm just going to make them white, I think. And then we can make the active one perhaps have an effect or something under it. So white's are three Fs or six Fs really, but whenever it's six of all the same, that's better. You can see that fine. Whenever it's six of all the same, you just need to put three. Okay. So all we need to do now is copy this from the dot to the closing curly bracket there. And let's go and put this in our CSS style sheet. Now for those that haven't been following along before, we created our website from scratch. We created a CS folder inside our website folder here. And inside of it is our custom CSS folder that we'll be working on. And here's our index HTML file with the bare bones structure of our site that we'll also be working on. So let's open our brackets text editor. And there you'll see those two files I just mentioned, the index HTML file and the custom CSS file. This brackets text editor is free and you can download it from my link below this video. So let's here's our nav bar that we were working on last time. So let's just paste in that code that we copied from our Chrome inspector just now. If you didn't realize, if I go back, I'm using Google Chrome here and it's got fantastic developer tools built into it called the inspector here where you can edit your CSS and your HTML in real time, non-destructively, and then just copy it over and put it in your CSS style sheet or HTML file to make your changes permanent. So I'll just close that out and as we were. Um, so we've copied that in there. Actually before I save I'm just going to demonstrate we haven't saved that yet so if I refresh then these changes that we made up there it'll go back to how it was and you won't hardly be able to see those. There we go as you can see it's gone back to how it was because those are non-destructive edits when we edit with the Chrome Inspector. Let's make them permanent. All we need to do, we've put our changes in, let's just save it. Control S to save. And refresh. There we have it. Now they'll stay like that now. Okay, that's all well and good, uh, but the active one, you can't really tell which one's active because they all look the same now. If we go to our HTML file, Do you see this first one here? It's marked as active. We will be putting some JavaScript in later on, some smooth scroll or scroll spy or something later, which will make this animate as we go through them. But we'll do that on another date. But as you can see, this first one, the home, is the active one. It looks the same as all the rest. So let's target this class of active. And let's put some kind of effect on it. Let's give it Let's give it an underline. Let's give it a border on the bottom to make it stand out from the others. So let's have a look. Just click on it. And here's the active item. The Chrome Inspector, like I said earlier, it's F12 or Control Shift I. It's various different ways of bringing it up. You've got various tabs. As long as you're on the Elements tab, it'll show you the HTML over here. As long as you're on the Styles tab over to the right, it will show you your CSS. And it's got a three dots on the right-hand side that you can change the position of where it is if you want to need to edit it from the side, rather see the whole thing that way. Personally, I like it at the bottom for most cases, but it is useful to be able to change it now and again. 
Okay, so back to where we were. Nav item active. Let's say, let's give it. We're actually working on the class of active, so let's just give it border bottom. Let's see what happens. We can always change this at another date if we don't like it as we move on with the site. Border bottom, let's give it two pixels. Solid. And we'll make it white, FFF. There you go, that makes it stand out a little bit. So let's just copy that. And we're working on this class of active right here. See active? So we want to write dot active, open some curly brackets and put that inside of it to tell it what to do. Because uh, again, when I refresh, that'll disappear. So let's go to our CSS file again. And let's drop down. And this time we're going to write in active dot active period active however you want to say it open close some curly brackets give it a space then paste in what we just copied our little border CSS there border bottom two bit solid white and we'll save that now when we go back and refresh we should get a little border under the active element there there we go that makes it stand out a bit from the others of course it won't work at the moment when we do this but like I say we will be adding some JavaScript uh, to make this automate at a later date okay what else do we want to do those are a little bunched up um, to me they look a little bunched up anyway I'd like to see them spaced out a little bit and we can do that really easily with a bit of padding and we don't have to put that in our CSS we can do it directly on our HTML if you've been watching before you'll know we've uh, done that several times in the past so I just want to give them a margin on the right hand side try give them a margin of four and see what happens so let's go to our HTML and this is where I want to put it and the actual nav item itself it doesn't matter if it's active in all of them so let's give it uh, I guess margin right is what we want so mar M for margin R for right let's give it four we can give it between one and five and five being the biggest amount of space and one being the smallest if you want to go higher than that then you're going to need to do it with custom CSS in our style sheet but let's have a look at that see what it looks like Control S to save back to our site. Refresh. Now when I refresh, it should have pushed a bit of more space on the end of this first link here, so it should be back here. Let's have a look, see what happens. There we go. Now I need to do that to the rest of them. So it'll sort of fill out here. It just doesn't look quite as you know bunched up. You might like it like that, but I don't. But it's your site, you have it how you want it. <laughs> so let's just copy this. Control C to copy and paste it on the end of each of these items here. And quick save. And back to our site. Refresh, and these should be a lot more spread out now. There we go, that's a lot more like I was wanting to see. What we could actually do, we can add this to the hover right now. So let's just click on another one of these. And hit the hover. So what we want to do here, we've already got this in our CSS style sheet, so all we need to do is add that little border to the hover of it so let's see let's do that and see what happens let's open our brackets go to our css file there's our little nav links let's just copy this 
drop down paste it in there now at the end of the last one there okay and let's just copy this border bottom we don't need to, we're not changing that so that can stay the same I'll just leave it there let's see what happens Now when we hover over it, we've got that little border. So that worked out how we wanted it to. I'll take that white away, I've got a feeling when we were hovering it darkened down a little bit there. We can always change the colour when you do that. Um, for instance, let's just take that away for a moment. Control X, I'm just going to cut it and save. See if that made any difference. Yeah, you see it goes slightly darker there. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that's okay. Let's leave it leave it out like that. It sort of stands out a little bit. And when you let it go, it goes back to that nice white again. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's just tidy that up there. I mean, you can always have it doing something else if you want to. That's entirely up to you. Quick save back to the site so there you have it there's a bit of easy nav bar styling with bootstrap 4 they really have made it easy for us well i hope you've enjoyed that if you have please subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development take one of our web development courses down below we've got a great bootstrap template design course where you can build bootstrap templates really quickly and we show you from start to finish the process with that and if you're a wordpress builder we've got some great wordpress courses down there too there's also some fantastic free courses down there so do take a look once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day